Whether you love them or not, utility classes are essential to every Webflow build. In this video, we'll look at a different way to handle utility styles that might make our lives a lot easier. So let's give our cards a radius and our photo a matching radius. If we ever wanna change this value in the future, we now have to update it in two places, making our site harder to maintain. This is what utility classes aim to solve. To create a utility on an empty div, we can add a class name like radius small and apply a value. Then to assign that to our elements, we can just add this global class to each of our elements one by one and notice how they start to pull the value of that global class. Meaning if we update this class in the future, it's updating every instance. But what if we need a change from radius small to more of a larger size? Well, we could either reclass each of our elements, which could be really time consuming, or we could rename our global class to something like radius large. When we do that though, it unlinks each of these instances. They're still labeled as radius small. So instead of naming our utilities based on size, I like to name based on the context of how it will be used. Maybe we have radius one that's used for all of our cards and images, radius two that's used for buttons and links, and then if we ever wanna update this radius or even remove it, we know we're only affecting these elements. The problem with utilities is they get in the way a lot. If we wanna change the color of this card, we have to remove its utility so we can create a combo on it, and then we can add the utility back on. Also, if we wanna change the style of the card on different breakpoints, we have to remove the utility so we can adjust styles and then add the utility back on top when we're finished. The more utilities we have, the more tedious this becomes, especially when we're stacking lots of utilities. Like pointer off, we now have to recreate this class on each instance of the element. But what if there was another way? Let's remove our utility classes from our elements and try something else instead. I'll open an embed on the page and use this code here. We're targeting any class that has the word radius one anywhere inside the class name, it'll get this style. Same with pointer off, anywhere inside the class name will get this style that's not supported natively in Webflow at the moment. So to add these classes on inside our card here, we can add two dashes and then I'll say radius one. Notice how it applies to both elements automatically without us having to add an extra class, meaning we can freely adjust the style of this card across all breakpoints without having to remove anything. If we wanna add pointer off, we can just add a dash pointer off and it applies to both instances of this element without stacking any extra classes. For our header photo, we may want just the radius one class and not the pointer off, so we can do that fine there. And if we wanna adjust globally that radius one value, we update it in one place and it updates across all elements. This is really helpful for any CSS lacking native support in Webflow. If we want the background color of a div to inherit from its parent's font color, we can include BG current in the class name. I've also attached radius two with a hundred viewport radius. Let's apply both of these to this progress fill. So we'll add dash dash and we'll say radius two and also BG current. Notice how the background color of this div inherits from its parent's font color, meaning adding and removing this one class affects everything we need inside. If at any point we decide we don't want that background color linked, we can remove this word and it updates across every instance without us having to add and remove a bunch of classes. If we want this background div to be linked to the same radius value, we can add dash dash radius two and notice how it's linked to that same value. Meaning if we ever wanna adjust this radius in the future, we can adjust it from one place and it's gonna update every instance of those elements across the board. If you'd like to see another creative way to use the attribute selector, check out this video on CMS grids.